Oh, right. The sign. Um, when we were trying to set up, I was also like helping him get some um, of the things kind of pre prep. I think. Please see a mirror for stall details. Yeah, so people are basically are being told to like see that so they can go over to his stand and he has like this clipboard that people can like sign up to kind of have these stalls at. Oh, wasn't that what one of your friends, yeah. your friend was doing at some point? I think point? so. Yeah, and I think, I think you could just like pick a place. Uh, that was so cool! Kitty explains, pride overwhelming them. I can't believe I actually won. Though, uh, my stomach does hurt. While all of you are talking to Kitty and walking around on the beach, Marshy, Sunny, and Taz hear two familiar voices. Hey, Marshy. Is that Leon's voice that I'm hearing? Taz says as he looks around trying to find them. Uh, I think so. Where are they? Marshy says as she starts spinning around. I think they are in front of us. Dan says as he, as he looks and points over to Leon and Robbie, who are talking to each other, but you can't really tell what they're saying. Uh, are they arguing with someone? As all of you get closer to them, you see that the stall that they are near is filled with cakes. Come on, this booth is vital for maximizing profits! Leon says as he looks at him with a confused look. We were just... Going to call the spot, and here we are! Yon says in somewhat of an annoyed tone. Why do you need this exact booth? A person asks as he looks at Leon as he takes a, a breath. Wouldn't people come back for a taste of your pastries? The stranger appeared at agitated. They will, but if your booth is so out of the way, then they won't. Ravi counter counters. I mean, he isn't wrong, Dan says as he shrugs, as, as Leon points over to Dan. Thank you for proving my point, Leon says. Hey, don't drag me into this. It's still a little silly to be fighting over, over it, though. Dan responded back, holding his hands up in defense. Just go find somewhere else. Leon is about to say something before Marshy interrupts. Uh, is there anything we can help with, maybe? Help who with what? And another voice questions, almost teasingly. You hear the sound of sand being stepped on coming behind you as you turn around to see Catherine standing behind all of you. Catherine, you're back! Uh, is everything good? Swan asks in a curious tone as she looks at Catherine. I'm fine. Everything is fine. Catherine says as she looks over at the small group. What is all the fuss about? Dia speaks up after she catch after she catches up with the group. This fuss is this booth is an ideal spot for a baking event like this. We want we want to be in the prime selling position, and we have to make sure that our foot traffic will be ideal. Ravi says as he looks around at your at your group, as well as the people he is arguing with. Is it that important? It matters when it comes to things like where you're located and what you sell. Leon says as he face palms. It is so that you can maximize profit. Wouldn't it make sense to have it in, in a weird location? Kitty asks as they cross their arms in confusion. <laughs> it makes sense for it to be near where people are moving a lot, so you end up with people buying more stuff from where you're selling. So, is that why your shop is near the entrance of the docks? Sunny asks. Now that you mention it, th th that is really smart. Thank you! <laughs> Robbie and Leon speak at the same time. I have a shop. Taz questions as he looks over at Leon. Yes, I do. Did you not know this? Leon questions as he looks at Taz with a very confused look. I might have forgotten. Taz mumbles as he rubs the back of his arm. How do you forget if someone has a shop? Catherine questions, mildly perplexed. Moving on, we want that booth. Robbie says as he looks at the person. Hey, what's, what is going on here? Amir says in a coming voice as he walks up to the gaggle of people that are surrounding the empty booth. 
just some stupid argument over who gets the booth. Emir sighs in disappointment as he thinks for a little bit. Hmm. Maybe we could have a bake-off. Maybe we could have a bake-off to see who gets the booth, Emir says calmly as they smile as they smile at, at everyone. Does that seem like a good idea? Emir says somewhat proudly. <gasps> a bake-off! The group grows silent as you look at each other. Uh, that sounds like it could be fun. Amir's eyes light up with excitement as Swan spoke, nodding quickly. I've always wanted to host one of those. Looks like dreams come true at the most weird places. Amir threw his head back and laughed. He then turned to you three, pointing between each of you. Okay, so this will be a team answer. You three will be my example team. Uh, uh, huh? Example team? <laughs> yeah, or my lead team. I think it would be good to show what sort of dynamics we're looking for in this high-stakes competition. Huh. Amir is talking as if this bake-off will give someone the prize of eternal life. His enthusiasm is practically unmatched. Make sure that everyone gets settled for me, okay? I'm gonna go grab some stuff to set up. Amir took in a deep breath before letting out a hum of excitement. Okay, we'll definitely do that. Sure! Oh, <gasps> You're surprised by the speed Amir had managed to put up all of the large tents. It's one of the times you've actually get to see him in action apart from making drinks. And to say Amir was strong and fast would be an understatement. You saw him throw barrows like balls of paper. While he worked on getting the tents up, you all discussed who was going to be with who. Marshy, Swan, and Dan, you were lucky because you, Amir had already stated in his first announcement that you would be the team, be a team. So you got to you got to sit back and relax as you watched everyone make their decisions. Despite Amir stating that there needs to be three people to a team, you watch as Ravi, Ravi and Leon wave Dia away. A third person is only is only going to slow us down. Ravi says curtly. We'll do better on our own. But but guys, Dia complains. You guys won't even play by the rules. The rules are are only there to stop us from our true potential. If we want Leon to states. win, we're going to have to do it our way. Robbie and Leon then turned from the rest of you, letting out a delighted laugh as they discussed their plans. Your attention turns towards the large figure coming over to Dan, a mere bounds with excitement and appears to be smiling brightly. Okay, that's the tents, the ingredients, the equipment. <laughs> Amir places his hands on his hips, proud of his work. However, his face suddenly turns into worry. Oh, crap! I forgot the judges! I'm sure you being a judge would be fine. No! He quickly turns to you, absolutely distraught. That would be fair- that wouldn't be fair to you or the contestants! There needs to be three judges. One that is high class, another that is critical, and lastly, the experienced one. Wait! He suddenly stops in his thinking placing his hands out as he stands there. I think I know who to grab. I'll be right back. Before you could say anything, Dan, Amir is dead sprinting across the, uh, back across the beach. You don't bother to see where he's going. Is he... Is he normally like that? Dan glances at you before giving a gentle nod. Pretty much. The three of you continue to watch the other members of your group decide to team up. You see Kitty talking excited with Catherine, who is Robodog, currently resting in her his head in her lap. While you can't hear the words that Kitty you can't hear the words that Kitty is saying, you assume that they're excitedly talking about the bake off. You finally see Dia wander over to Sunny, who comforts her. Taz stands by, every so often coming up with ideas. Dia's eyes brighten before she suddenly turn suddenly hugs Taz. You can't help but assume he offered her a spot on their team. You qu you're quickly distracted though, as suddenly you see a large Undamian begin bounding back down the beach. And does does he have company? What? The judges have arrived! You hear Amir's voice booming. Everyone, get in your teams! The game is about to start! <laughs> You're all a bit surprised to see who had Amir brought. Well, more like who he carried. In one hand is Damien. He's being held up by the back of his shirt like a kitten being carried by his mother. His face is beet red, and you're not sure if he's frozen from rage or if any moment he's going to kill Amir. 
And on his other hand, and over his shoulder, was a lithe body in rather elegant clothing. At first, you could only hear the frantic shrill of complaining as, as it was only his legs sticking up. But as, but as he attempted to wiggle out of Amir's grasp, his vibrant magenta hair swayed. Stride? <laughs> Despite being carried like a sack of potatoes, Stride is placed down carefully. It takes him a moment to adjust to his new landscape, but he quickly reaches up to his hair and tucks it behind his ear. His face is flushed, and he refuses to make eye contact with you. Consider yourself lucky I owe you a favor. Strahd's voice, while stern, appears to have some sort of shyness. Amir drops Damien unceremoniously, causing the man to have to catch himself. You know, you know you don't owe me anything, Amir banters back at the other, his grin full. You only started fighting me when you, we, you, you only started fighting me when you saw we were heading to the stand. The rest of the way, it looked like you were being carried, Seastar. Part of me thinks you, want, you wanted to be part of this. Strahd draws his lips in a thin line as Amir talks, as if he's been caught in some sort of criminal act. Though, lucky for him, Amir turns to the four groups and claps their hands together. Honorable attendees! His voice booms, and you can't help but flinch at the loudness. While you're able to adjust to it, Amir's voice was so loud, you're pretty sure that people at the docks could hear it. Oh my gosh. Today, we will be testing the limits of our most ambitious bakers. Amir continues, and people were, and the people who were enjoying the event begin to linger closer to you and your group, finding spots along the outside of tents to spectate. How this game will work is that you will get eight minutes on the clock. During this time, you will have to make as many cakes as possible. The group murmurs. Some look a little frightened, while others, like Dan, Taz, and Ravi, appear to be fine with this role. There is a catch, though. Amir barks out a laugh. <laughs> Your group must be divided into three sections. Section one will receive the name of the cake order and will have to choose the raw ingredients blindly. There are some more murmurs. This time, a lot of this time of less confidence. Section two will break down the raw ingredients into more palatable options, such as butter, dough, and so on. Lastly, section three will have to figure out the final recipe before going to their front counter to make a sale. They must say the right thing to anyone who approaches. Dan glances between the three of you, pointing between all of you. You all begin mouthing, attempting to figure out what section you would be, you would be before the game starts. Uh, uh Swan one, me two, uh, Dan three. Got it. <laughs> okay. After a few moments of decision making, you all nod in agreement. Dan was seen mouthing that he knew how to make a cake in its final form. Marshy and Swan, while you don't have as much baking experience, you decide where to go based on the order. Anyone who would like to participate in ta tasting, please come to me to make a donation of any sum. This will grant you access to try all of our competitors' cakes. Yon and Ravi look at each other excitedly from across the way. You can make out him saying, cash money and worth it. Me, Strahd, and uh, Amir leans over. Damien. Damien! He suddenly announces, causing everyone to jump again. We will consider the overall well-being of our volunteers as well as make our final decision at the end of the eight minutes. There, we will officially choose a winner. You can't help but catch the sound of a few more voices joining the spectators. Everyone's tones giddy with excitement. All the greetings you will need or, and may not need are stocked in the tents. Now, let's bake by the ocean! Emir suddenly points to the sky, his stance dramatic, as he finally pushes his voice to the extent of its volume. At that, this point, you're pretty sure uh, that the other side of Erwin could hear him. The group stands around, looking at each other. Amir lowers his arms and faces all of you. You- You can go now! Amir looks at you with a smile. Time has started! <laughs> Yay! You just vaulted over the- Okay, so this uh, is Amir, section two. I'm uh, two! Okay, I'm one. here! Is that here? Two of those? Um, okay. Yeah, I, I, I can't the, see half section. of you. Yeah, I think that's the point. Oh, oh this is bad. I don't like that. Oh, wait, so okay. what am I supposed to do again? What were I the instructions? Hot, um, I got um, lots you, of water. Wouldn't, wouldn't you be getting some, like, recipe okay. or something? I think so. Uh, there's there's a lot of things in here. Uh, fruits. Yes. Okay, I, okay. Yes. Um, raisins. Oh. Carrots. Milk. Meat. 
Yeah, I'll yeah, I just have a bunch pineapples. of pineapples. Do pineapples go in baking? I mean, yes. Pineapple upside down cake. Yeah. Well, I'm very, just gonna grab. Uh, I hope you guys these. know I do not know cooking like at yeah. all. Water. I, I, yeah. Uh, salt. <laughs> I'm about to make y'all regret eating me. I'm so sorry. Okay. Okay. Um. Okay. Okay. Have you, um. Did, have you gotten anything? Have you gotten a piece no, of paper or anything? I have no recipes. I have well, not been handed anything yet. We need our recipe! <sighs> or you could just never give it to us and then I never have to potentially let people down because oh dear lord oh god. <laughs> ah, this is fine. How you doing there, fellow friend? I'm doing I, great. I do love is the fact that- Is your tail as fluffy as it looks? Yes, you wanna to touch it? <gasps> yes. Oh my, this is Wait, the that's not good. You gotta thing. wash your hands now. Wait, no, shoot! There's nothing but ocean here! Um, <laughs> no, oh, I mean, you uh, could run to the water, holiday but I think cake? that was- that Wait, what? 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 What am I- We got uh, a recipe? Uh, what do we do? Cake. Um, uh, cake. Um, cake needs sugar and stuff, right? Um, yeah. Cake okay. needs sugar. Okay, salt? Does it need salt? I don't know. I have salt. <laughs> Um, what, so are, what kind of cake are we making? Uh, holiday. Uh, holiday. Does that have like dates so... and stuff like that? Because they're it literally just gave me a word. Wait, am I making the cake? And then no, past... I I make I'm you're making, making the, cake. the cake. I'm making the um, cake. You're making like dough um, and stuff. I think. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, how do you make dough? Um, do you, you use milk? you 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 oh. you use flour? Flour? Um, um, um. I the yeast. Yeah, I yeast. No flour, bro. Yeast. Yeast. Not the, no, the yeast. <laughs> Oh, uh, 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 eggs! You need eggs! You need eggs! There's turkey eggs. That's rotten eggs. Why are there rotten eggs in here? <laughs> what am I doing? Um, uh, um, here, take this stuff. See if you can do uh, something with it, uh, man. Okay, it's there's salt. Okay. There's sugar. Okay, there's try to find some cake Please. things in here. Um, uh, um do, are, do you think there are dates in holiday cakes? Like, oh, wait. Um, uh, um, have some dates. Um, um. Um, this, this, uh, that, there, there we go, Do you need that. Milk? Do you I need have, milk? I have milk. Um, okay, um, great. I have uh, soy milk. Sugar? Oh, there's a new one. There are more. Fruitcake. There's Listen, some salt. Uh, fruit. A, a date. Fruit. A date. Fruit. 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 A date. Fruit. Uh, two dates. <laughs> um, where'd the flour go? Okay, okay, okay. Here, here's, here's flour. Um, okay. Here's some dates. How <laughs> More dates. Um, uh, here's more some meat, more dates. My um, salt and Sorry. sugar and milk. <laughs> I picked it up. Um, <laughs> salt. Um, here's sugar. Give, give, me, give me water. Give oh, me water. water. Give me water. Water. Give me water. Water. Is there chocolate here? Because they want us to make a chocolate cake, and I might know a little more about. There's cocoa. You use cocoa to do that. I understand that. Have some cocoa, uh, my friend. Uh, I think uh, hello, customer. Um, uh, uh, hold on. Wait, can't be I can make can't be cocoa powder. <laughs> yeah, and then more flour. Yeah. Wait, how do you make? <laughs> yeah. Here you go. Here you go. Here's more. Here's more cocoa powder. Oh, my guy is and, already and, backed and, up on and, orders. And, and, Why is the kitchen? Guys. Water. Make some dough, please. I don't know how to make dough. How do I make Mercy. dough? Mercy, make dough. I need the flour. I, can't. I just threw it out. You need, we need some flour. <laughs> no, you need wheat. Make wheat turns into flour. Give me some flour. Oh, <laughs> make some flour. You have to make some flour. Oh, hello, sir. I'm how would Oh, wait, a person who purchased you with a pleasant look on their face. Back. You observe that you attempt anymore. to catch your eye, and they're dressed conservatively. You appear to be a little bit older. Um, uh, how would you greet them? Hello, how are you doing on this fine day? Your voice is filled with warmth, and you can't help but match the energy. The person looks at you with a surprise before breaking out in a big smile. They reach over the counter for your hand and begin to shake it violently. It's so good to see people be polite these days. I'm so used to people around here just tell trying to sell me stuff. It's nice to be asked how my day has been. They took some cake. Cool! They took cake! Okay, guys, I need the flour back! <laughs> you Bro, I'm giving I don't have so the flour back! Sugar, 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 this is- we're terrible! Oh, Bro, I have too many okay. recipes! Okay, sauce I've made a cake before! Water. So I've many carrots here! There are so no. many carrots! I've made a cake no. before and poisoned a man with that. it! Oh, wait, I, I didn't know how to do this! There's a pumpkin cake at some point! Have some pumpkins! What? 
Oh, you were just <laughs> throwing everything. I don't know. I don't, make, I don't. I don't know how to make dough. Um, cheesecake, chocolate, sprinkles, cake, fruit cake, no. pumpkin cheesecake. I don't. Why did you add pumpkin to cheesecake? Here, you want There's some pumpkin? There's pineapple upside down cake. You mentioned that one. I know that. Oh, okay. Oh. Uh, There's a lot of carrots. Did we get the carrot dough. cake yet? Hey, did chat, we get the carrot cake yet? Does that? Have carrots. Oh, how are you, customer? They walk with wide strides and appear to carry themselves with confidence. <laughs> the strong scent of tobacco wafts in their way. Your direction as they stop and give you a big smile. Hello! You need some milk! <laughs> how should you treat them? You need some uh, milk? Howdy! Their smile appears to grow better upon hearing your, their jubilant greeting. He needs some milk! They move to play on the cake. Cake. For quickly glancing at the cake in the oh, I might have been, but can I try that? You want the cake. soy? They took it! You they took soy? it! What is a mud cake? Do I need to just pour the milk on the dirt and like make mud cake? Yeah! Do that's do how you make mud! The type of okay. cake is a chocolate coconut cake. I know what to do. With, with coconut? Um, I have no idea. Yeah, it has coconut in here, it. Here, here, here. This will help. It'll work for the mud cake. Found regular eggs. That is sand, Marshy. It's not the mud cake. Sand cake. Oh, egg, That's egg, not egg. how you make mud cake. Egg, 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 egg and flour. Egg makes egg. dough. Put. I don't have water. Oh my I God. do have water. Do you egg need more chocolate? Wait. Have more I can, I can cheat water. Infinite water. <laughs> wait. Wait. Oh, okay. Hold on. Egg. Ah. A clown approaches you. Or do oh. they call themselves jesters? You haven't really oh. questioned the semantics of some of the naming conventions, but one thing's for certain: <laughs> no one was nowhere was safe from clowns. Run was actually more horrifying than you thought. They waddle their way up to you, reaching for or their red n nose and giving it a few earnest squeeze. How do you greet oh. them? Uh, would you like to try our cake? You see their grin widen, which you weren't sure was even possible. They reach for their shirt pocket and pluck a bright yellow flower from it. They present the fl flower to you for adjust your glasses and you decide to lean forward. All, after all, you need to get closer. You wanted to see if you could identify the species. As soon as you go to reach for it, a beam of water suddenly erupts from the center. It drenches you from the top of your head. The water begins to run off your shoulders. They did not take the cake. They didn't take the cake. I got sprayed by a cloud. I got it. Here, have a boiled egg! Guys! Yeah. Okay. <laughs> guys. <laughs> I feel like I'm trapped in a prison cell looking at my only friend! <laughs> <laughs> Time passes, passes in a blur, and none of you stop until a loud bell rings out. Time! Amir Bell is happily bringing the three of you to a well-deserved stop. It's judging time. Bring th three of your creations over, if you please. And Mir instructs with a smile. The various groups huddle together, picking out their best creations to present to the judges. You three do the same. Once everyone has handed over their creations, Strahd stands. We are going to judge you on three factors, which are taste, advertising, and the food preparation. Strahd smiles, says, smiling at the crowd. The judge consults each other as they taste their way through the com competition, until finally they seem they have reached their verdict. Okay. Everyone, it's time for the results, Amir says in an excited tone. We're going to start with who did the worst. And that is Dia, Sunny, and Taz. For the reason that they had nothing to give. Damien says as he looks at the group. Yeah, that's my bad. Dia says as she rubs the back of her head. If it helped, they were delicious. Dia says with a smile on her face. Uh, at least we are at last, guys! <laughs> <laughs> next up is second in- next up is second to last, which is Dan, Marshy, and Swan. They gave us something, which is better than the group before. Strad chimes in. That's fair. Taz says as he shrugs. It reminds me of my time in training. Strad comments thoughtfully. Expression of mixture of mixture of fondness and mild disgust. So, um, is it nostalgic? Swan asks hopefully. It tastes like sand. Strahd states bluntly. Oh. <laughs> oh. 
have to agree with Strahd on the taste. The cake itself is more of a crusty texture and tastes like sand. It isn't... Is, it isn't a pleasant aftertaste. Damien says. What? Oh, uh. Marshy says. <sighs> to put Damien it simply, sighs. instead of the cake being soft, it had more of a coarse texture. Damien states as he rolls his eyes. As for making the cake, both of you tried, which... It is a more important thing, but the advertising wasn't really the smoothest thing either, hence why you got second to last place. Emir says as he folds his hands. Moving on to the next group, which is Kitty, Catherine, and RoboDog. I wonder how they did. Which was next, I guess. Your cookie was decent. It wasn't bad like the previous group's cookies. It was quite nice to eat, even when you made the cookie... Even when you made the cookie, you two had more synergy than the last two groups. Damien says as he looks at the small group. Your advertising strategy was rather creative as well. You made great use of your dog companion. Who came up with that, might I ask? Stroud inquires, looking at the small group. That would be me! Who wouldn't want to buy cookies from a cute little dog and myself? Kitty says. Hmm. Smart kid. Damien notes begrudgingly. I wonder who got first place then. Speaking of placements, we can go on to the two people who got second place, Emir says as they look over at them and sigh. Your team synergy left much to be desired. There was no harm harmony to speak of. If anything, it was chaotic. Strad says bluntly as he looks at them. I see why, but at least we got second to last place, or we got to second yeah. place. That's our Leon place, <laughs> Shut up. Leon says as he crosses his arms. Getting first place would have been better, though. Leon mumbles to himself. Now we're on to the winners of this bake-off! Amir says excitedly. Wait, we won? A child says as they gain a big smile on their face. A small cat twines between their legs. Yay! We won! A child continues as they hug their mother. You had excellent synergy with your teammates. The baked goods were amazing, and how you advertised your product was rather clever. I see you and Kitty were on the same page. John notes as he gives a fa the family a smile. Genuinely, that was really good. I have to give credit to whoever made it. Damien says as he has the tiniest smile. I hope you all had fun with this bake-off, Amir says as he grins. <gasps> Yay! Yeah. Guys, we were yeah. We were We last. did it! Yes. I'm sorry Yay. about the sand yeah. incident. Um, I thought that was how you make a mud cake. No, that's not how you make a mud cake, <laughs> Marcy. Uh, <laughs> I didn't even get the taste any of the I mean, I was bake. half a moment behind. I was- I thought maybe that was thrown into trip or stuff. It tripped me no. up. I don't- I, I, I don't know how to Mud be. cake is a thing. It's chocolate. Why is your friend coconut. glaring at me? Okay, he does that. Glaring at me. I don't, uh, listen, I don't, I don't, I don't uh, do well when people are staring at me really has. intently. I don't. mean, at least your food was good and it got eaten. I didn't get to taste it. Oh yeah, what any. happened with that? Yeah, like, did... yeah it's funny. Bia did ate most of it. Sunny, there was like a cookie they left. Ate it all? Yeah. Dia loves her oh. cookies. No, Dia <laughs> ate the cakes. Cupcakes. Oh, oh dear. And then there was like a few cookies sending it. Wait, I'm not that funny. Also competed in the piding contest. How did Dia have room? She loves her sweets, I guess. God, okay. I think I need to put my feet up because dear God, <laughs> what a day. What a uh, day. I mean, liter literally. I mean. Okay. Trying to also Sit. try to figure out how to make I guess cake. I'll stand. I didn't- I do know how to make cake. I poisoned that guy with what? cake. What? Wait, what? <laughs> right! I should have known! Guys, that was great! Amir approaches you, giving a careful laugh as his eye arms widened. I don't think I've ever seen that this many people turn out for the event! Despite your teens near failure, Amir approaches you and gives you a congratulatory head pat. Wait, who's saying that line? Oh, okay. So, the prize money. Is there, like, a second place reward, too? 
Amir's smile falls, and he stares at Leon with confusion. Prize money? Where'd you get that idea? Leon and Ravi blink back at Amir before looking at each other. Eventually, Ravi speaks up. From the participants needing to pay to try our cake? That's what it was for, right? Amir continues to stare at them, his fins twitching slightly as he thinks. After a long pause, he lets out a laugh. <laughs> oh, oh no, no. That was to help with our charity fundraiser. This entire event was meant to help raise money for Erwin's orphanages. <gasps> this was a charity event? Yeah, I, I mean, didn't you see it on the flyer? Amir turns for a brief moment before presenting the colorful flyer to you. It was all pretty well done. The text was large and told the date and the time. But sure enough, on the bottom right corner, there is a description. All proceeds of Cake by the Ocean will be donated to local charities housing orphans. After all, after you all managed to read the little description, he pulls you into a hug. You'd even said it on the sign, sign up sheet, my friends. You guys didn't know? We only really saw the big cake by the ocean text. Sunny sheepishly says. Despite how confident and bold Ravi and Leon had been acting, they began dr to draw into themselves. If we knew... Leon began to speak. We wouldn't have been so mean about the whole thing. Despite the two men looking guilty, Amir can't help but give them a toothy grin. He reaches out to give them both a firm pat on the shoulder. No matter. No matter what you thought this event was, you guys did a fantastic job. I think this is the most profitable we've ever been. If it wasn't worth for you, we wouldn't have made a record. There's a brief pause until Amir now announces, Come here! And suddenly skips the two men into a hug. There's some squirming as Amir's grip is ironclad. But eventually, Leon and Rav Ravi relen relinquish to reward their action. But eventually, Leon and Ravi relinquish to their reward of accidental ph philanthropy. Well, as stressful as it was, I'm glad that we did good today. Dan laughs under his breath, attempting to mostly make make the comment to Swan. <laughs> Less stressful than dying. <gasps> Marshy, your fox-like ears spin in the direction of Dan's voice, and your eyes begin to widen. Dan, seeing the movement, realizes that while humans wouldn't have heard him from that distance, you are not human. Your form is human, yes, but you also have two radio dishes slapped onto your head. Marshy suddenly approaches the two of you, and a chill runs up Dan and Swan's spine. Sl slowly, Marshy turns. Marshy stares and stops a foot in in front of you before dramatically pointing at you two frantically. Hold up! Hold up! What did you say? What did you say? What did you say? You, you, you! What did you just say? Wait, where? You. Not as stressful. Not as stressful as dying. That! You! Oh! <laughs> um. Whoop! I really need to be more careful about. Yeah, I I, I I just got carried away because of the whole Casey thing and dying like yeah. seven times by now. It seven? Kind of... I managed Wait, not to die seven? again. That's nice. I mean, you um, died once. Yeah, I only died once so far. That's nice. Which huh. yeah. Which is probably something that we're gonna have to explain to you how that works, yeah, right? Um, um, anyways, so... Yeah. Um, just people fell from the sky. <gasps> I, that's a thing. They, mm -hmm. um, and apparently, I mean, I don't even know if everyone that fell from the sky, but at <gasps> least us two, we fell from yeah. the sky, <gasps> and we both can <gasps> kind of come back. Are, are you okay? <gasps> are you okay? Oh, yeah, I'm fine. Are, this are is fantastic sure? news. What, that we've died? <laughs> Wait, no, not that. Just, uh. Aw. Oh. So a little secret, um, um. I may okay. be the same as you guys. Maybe. Wait. This is starting to you feel are? a lot less special. <laughs> huh? What? Yeah? Now, you are? Fell from the sky, yes! kind of, you know, got bleh, and then came back. 
Well, I, did I, you I die didn't, on impact? Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, did you well, die on impact? No, I didn't die on impact. That I got B. Not yeah, I B made lost. a crater, actually. Did you? <laughs> I made a crater. He was a nice shaped nice. crater. I, 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 I really I woke up from the crater, yeah. Wait. I wonder if we. Hmm, I don't. Hmm. Hmm. You left a crater. I did. I did. And too. you didn't think you didn't. Yeah, okay, crater squad. Okay, I'm gonna point something out to you three. If you left the crater and you're still living, I want, I want you to think about Do, that. I genuinely don't know how I'm alive, but I t let me tell Magic. you, I was awake that entire wait, time. Wait, I, I was wait. in the sky for like five straight yeah, I, minutes. I went to sleep and then I Whoa. woke up in the middle of nowhere, mm -hmm. proceeded to get kidnapped, had to get this thing out of there, and th this is the flower thing. I think I oh. should probably... Um, <laughs> That this thing out of here, which by the way, I think we're gonna have to do some preparing, Swan. But that can be another conversation because we have at oh, least okay. a week. We have at least a week to have that at conversation. Least a week? Um, okay. But um, yeah, kind of went underground, became a rat, met mushroom rat? people. Here I am. <gasps> oh, and then I, I a total a total murderer came after me. Huh? Yeah, that was the guy who killed huh. me. What? He also killed me. Ha! Huh. Huh. Oh, wait, uh, okay. That's... So, on my end, see, I fell from the sky and like, okay, so we're like in Mythos, you know that, right? I fell in a whole different other place. Bastios. Um, some Navy training camp or something. They have a Navy, fun fact. Um, and I fell right in the middle of their training and I thought I was going to die. Um, so I smacked some people with a crossbow I found and then I was kind of half arrested, sort of. Um, someone claimed I was a pirate. I totally didn't knock her out on accident and then stole her uniform because I thought that maybe if I had the uniform, like, I wouldn't die. Um, listen, it was the whole time, okay? But then I ended up joining the Navy. Um, Kitty and I are from that, actually, and then we touched a funky little statue with a, with a diamond, and now we're here. I also, um, diamond a purple statue woman thing. gave me, yeah, a purple woman gave me, I think she was purple? It was kind of dark in the caves. I did swim through I got a mine from system. a hooded person. Right. I also See, I got my from a hooded person. I got but letters. I, also, I have a little bit of purple. They just left it on my bed. I, I never saw anyone. Huh. Okay, wow. so what? That makes me one, two, three. That's, There's three I've of met, us. Well, three of us. I've met two other well, I've met two more others. Right. In the sky. Yeah. Wait. Huh? Is the You met more? Yeah. Huh. <gasps> Let's see, one, two, three... Are they the same as mine? Three. Mine was Cam and Justin. No. I kind of... Oh, okay. There was Mario. He's also an animan like me. And mm -hmm. then there was a Dread named Rex. And then a human, I think. She had bunny ears, though. Ooh, sleepovers would be an awesome idea. What? Sleepovers? Sorry. Yeah, th those are pretty cool, aren't they? That's what you do with friends, right? <gasps> Right? We should totally have a sleepover. <gasps> okay. That would be fun. You're gonna have to tell me what happens on those. Because uh, I don't know. You stay up all night. You actually don't sleep. Oh, okay. Oh, weird for a <laughs> the name is a lie. Uh -huh. Yeah, you sleep over. Uh -huh. Maybe maybe we maybe we can come to schedule that another day. I think I think this is a Maybe not, not today. Definitely not a different day. Definitely. Yeah, not today. Is that okay, Kitty? Is that okay, Kitty? Do you have houses? Of... Because I don't think you'd be allowed at the barracks. Oh, uh, yeah? Okay. Mm. I, I do have- Of course I, you have houses. I'll... You have places to sleep. Well, I have Remy's uh, townhouse I have the hype thing. house. <laughs> you know, I the... thought it was weird when you said hype. I've not heard anyone else here say hype. Yeah, it's like someone saying poggers here. <laughs> I... <laughs> That's so straight up. Um, huh? is, that, is that Poggers Blossoms? Can you hear me, Blossoms? Is the Poggers? Poggers? <laughs> oh, right! You all have. Do y'all call your guys anything? Mine are Swanlings. The voices? Oh, they're just yeah, the chat. voices. Yeah, I tend to call them chat too, but like they kind of. I, I called them Swanlings really early on, and then like they. Yeah. Okay, listen, I'm Swan. They are. You're her legs. <laughs> I am not famous. Well, okay, I wouldn't call them children. Okay, me and Kitty had the same thought. 
Oh no, and they're not like. I mean, maybe some of Mother them Duck. are like younger than us. Oh, but, like, they're Duck. just voices in our heads. Oh, yes. Mother Duck. Well, listen. It, I guess aren't we a pair then? Because you, you're the like parent of your flowers. They're saying hi, by the way. Oh, hello, hello. Mine are oh, just saying poggers and still want to blow up the ocean. Why? Why? My, <laughs> mine are lying <laughs> maniacally. <laughs> Mine are laughing maniacally and saying Mother Swan, and then also saying hello. No, you don't want to say Poggers. Say Poggers more. Say no, yes, 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 yes. Back Poggers. Slang, Go back on the bear Don't do this to me. No. <laughs> Let Kitty say Poggers. I have to live with this. What have you done? Good. Good. <laughs> And I get to go back to my little, like, townhouse with Remy, who's probably making some food right now. Oh, by the way, Kitty, um, the voices say hi. That didn't sound ominous at all. <laughs> you should have said poggers in response. Oh. <laughs> what have you done? It poggers means, really, means really like... Really cool, really cool. Means... Yeah, it's cool. typically said when you think something's awesome or really cool. If you say that to me in all seriousness, I will walk out the door. Swan, you're pretty poggers. That's pretty poggers. <laughs> I, Into bye. the ocean she goes. <laughs> I, I don't want to. I don't want to have to have my jacket dry. You don't want to walk in the ocean with shoes on, bro. Oh, true. I don't want to do that either. You get blisters. It's not good. Really? Yeah. I just didn't want to get my boots wet. Okay. <sighs> oh, okay. Long day. Long day. Indeed. Wow, well, it was nice meeting you. You two. too. And your group. And I hope you first. your night is at least a little bit more relaxing. Mm hmm. The bake off was fun. We make uh, a horrible team, but it was really fun. Yeah, I mean, we make a chaotic team. True. I mean, maybe if we like did like did something we all knew, maybe we'd be better. Maybe. I thought you three are a disaster. Oh gosh. Oh, thanks. But in a good way. That's what they thought... said to me in elementary school when they didn't want to get in trouble with the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, all you three had smiles on your faces. Oh, I was screaming. I was screaming, though. It was fun. <laughs> I like that game. Let's do I mean, it again sometime. Sure! <laughs> that, maybe. maybe. Next, next time I won't give you sand. Maybe See? next time I'll have read a cookbook in advance. At a sleepover! That, yeah, probably at a sleepover. See? Ooh, okay. You three proved my point. We gotta make the itinerary for the sleepover. Oh, there's gonna be an itinerary? This is sounding fancy. Yeah. <laughs> what? Who are we gonna invite to our sleepover? I have to think about that too. Um, the only people I know is my roommate at the barracks. Her name is Mary Ann. Um, there's my boss, Strahd, and then there's Catherine, I don't think who's also from your last boss years. to a sleepover is a good idea. <laughs> he invites himself to a lot of things, actually. Yeah. I can't tell if he does his job or not. Well, uh, 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 bro, you think I'm leaving without you? We're a package deal. Looks like he's doing his job now. Oh, he was, you know, actually, I'm a little wondering about that, because Marianne said she was going to have to babysit him all day, so I guess he snuck off again. Oh. <laughs> or he got kidnapped. Mm. Well, oh, true. Yeah, he, <laughs> did <get kidnapped. laughs> he did get kidnapped. <laughs> well, if I this wonder Marianne if Marianne will be, off. like, placated by hearing that he was kidnapped by a large fish. I, I want to see that. I want to see him break into, like, whatever office he was in, and then just... <laughs> Pick them up. Do they have security cameras here? Probably not. Oh, that's no, unfortunate. They don't. I, don't, I don't think so. I've never seen such a thing. <laughs> that would have been really funny I, to I see. Think, I think Marianne is Marianne's on a break from seeing like a person break in, deal their boss, and leave. Well, typically, I mean, they go out on patrol. I've heard he's really good at slipping away. She's told me some stories. Okay, maybe he just looked away and she didn't notice. I have no idea. Maybe he was also nabbed the side of the road. The fish man seems to have. Out. Oh, they're sitting together. Hmm. There's been. I'm not the only one, right? I'm not the only no, one. No, I don't 
think so. I mean, I think I'm noticing things, but also I'm really bad at social cues, so I don't know if I'm being assumptuous. What? Okay. Yeah. Um... There's something going on between those two. Not sure what, but like... There's like okay, a kitty, that might be a little... <laughs> Chat saying gay. <laughs> gay. Okay. Maybe? I don't know. Okay, I don't know. I, 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 I mean, I can definitely say for a fact that I like men, but I can't say for a fact what they oh, like. Me too! Well, I like both. High five. High five! <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I'll, I'll, um, wild I'll way. figure out what I like at some point. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I can say I like men, me too. I like men. Me too. High five? <laughs> Gay people real. No way. Mm. No way. <laughs> I don't know about you, Swan, but I, I, I might, I'm, while you guys head out, I think I'm gonna go sneak in on their little conversation. But if you're gonna do that, I have to go there too. That's my boss. Oh my gosh. Okay. You two have fun with that. <laughs> Bye! It was really nice meeting you. Thank you for finding my friend. You. Okay. And thank you for feeding me sand, I guess. <laughs> uh, alright, yeah, sand. At least uh, it wasn't yeah, me! I won't, I won't feed you sand next time. Yeah, thank you. Um, oh, I guess Taz... Oh, there, there you are. I literally want to walk behind you. <laughs> I, oh. I thought you were over That's... there, and you were right there. <laughs> Uh, I mean, if you want to go ahead, I'll catch up. I want to go talk to someone before I head home, if that's cool. I just might walk with you, so I'm, I don't have, that took a lot out of me. Okay. I'm just sad. Sad? I didn't get to eat any of the, my, any of the baked goods I made. Oh, maybe you can use the kitchen at home and make more. <laughs> yeah, I, I will. You want anything? Cookies. I'll make cookies. Okay. I'll catch up. Uh, yeah. Oh, it's a big group. Hey, come here. You. Hey, you. You. Look at me! Look at me! You! Hey! You look around at, at Everin as they all wind down after a long eventful day. Everin seems to be preoccupied with their own thing, leaving you to your own devices. You wander around on your own for a bit when you notice Damien off to the side by himself. Hey! Damien! Damien looks up at you as you make your way over to him. Hello, Marshy, he says. You smile at him. Uh, glad you decided to come after all. I'll admit, I was curious as to what a big sale entailed, he says. Uh, did you like the food? Some of it, he looks at you. Not yours, though. Your cake tasted like sand. Yeah, I know. Okay. Uh, we had a little goofs. I may have put sand in the mud pie, um, or mud cake. My bad. I didn't know what a mud cake entailed. Um, yeah. Hmm. He smiles slightly. Uh, do you still want to talk about the thing? The thing? He pauses for a moment, thinking about what you said. Ah, oh, right. Have you learned anything about your special ability yet? Actually, possibly. Possibly? He tilts his head. Well, not me personally, but, uh, I th I learned... Swan and Dan are- might be able to do it too. I think they actually have the same situation I do. Damien's eyes widen slightly. Is that so? I mean, I don't know if it's exactly the same. It sounds like it's exactly the same, but I, they they both died and came back to life, so it's definitely similar. And they also both fell out of the sky. And, uh, I, I, th I think that's the case, though. 
I see. Damien looks away as he thinks to himself. Uh, maybe you could talk to them about it at some point? You can do the talking, Damien says, looking back at you. You're closer with them. They'd be more willing to share their secrets with you. But you could be friends with them too. I don't need friends. Oh, then uh, what, what are we then? He's silent. It, you know what? Never mind. Um, it's fine. Friendships take time. I, I get that. <laughs> right. Well, speaking of friends, I, I should go back to my, uh, friends. Uh, <laughs> see you around, I guess? He nods to you. He nods and you awkwardly turn away and make your way back to the others. Uh, well, see you later. Thanks for the, the big, the big thing. The cake by the ocean. It was really fun. Bye. Whew. They're doing their thing. I think I'll just head home. <sighs> what a, what a crazy... An exhausting day.